Higher view questions tend to follow a pattern. Do you know what that pattern is? And better yet, do you know how to answer those questions? Hi, my name is Patrick and I'm here to walk you through seven common higher view questions and how to answer them. If there's a specific question you'd like me to answer, please let me know in the comments below. And stick around till the end, we've got a great bonus tip for you. Now, if you're wondering, how can this guy talk about seven questions on my higher view if he doesn't even know what company I'm applying to? It's because most higher view questions are behavioral questions and behavioral questions follow a pattern. Behavioral interviews are great ways to assess candidates, no matter their target job or background. These questions want to understand what your past behavior was under certain circumstances. And they also want you to answer those questions using examples, concrete examples from your past. A great way to answer these questions is to use a C-A-R method. Context, action, result. First, you explain what the context of the situation was, then the actions you took to improve or remedy the situation, and finally, the results of those actions. This method helps keep your answer nice and tidy, and it also helps you highlight the parts where you were instrumental in solving a certain situation. All right, let's get right to it with seven common higher view questions. Question one, tell me about yourself. This is a classic higher view warm-up question, so treat it like a warm-up question. Think of it as an icebreaker. Just be relaxed and talk about your motivations, your goals, maybe some hobbies. What they really want to do is get to know you. They're not testing you on anything at this point. A very common mistake that people do when answering this question is reading off their CV. That's not the point of the question. They have their CV in front of you. If they wanted to know about your CV, they would ask about your CV. So supposing a higher view asked me that question, this is what I would answer. Hi, my name is Patrick. I really like helping people and making YouTube videos. So getting to work at a YouTube channel that does both really appeals to me. I also enjoy biking and board gaming. Did you get the idea? Simple, straight to the point. Don't read off your resume. Obviously, this is an example answer, so it's gonna be pretty short. But when you're doing your own answer, you can draw things out a little bit more. All right, question two. What is the toughest challenge you faced? Great, this is our first real behavioral question. So remember what we talked about in the introduction about using the C-A-R method and answering using examples from your past. This question has a secret. It's not really about the toughest challenge you faced. It's about how well you prioritize things. Tough challenges are usually complex with multiple issues that need to be separated and broken down, solved one by one. So talk about precisely that, how you got a big problem and you broke it down to its individual parts. Let's hear an example. I was asked to record a YouTube video and I knew nothing about the subject. So I started by researching everything about video production. Then I collected all the equipment I needed. I wrote down a script and I started recording. And it took several takes, but I made it work. So I had a big problem I knew nothing about. I broke it down into smaller parts and I worked each of those parts one at a time until I reached a solution. That's it, your ability to prioritize. That's what they want to hear. If you feel like you're getting value from this video, consider dropping us a like or even subscribing. We're constantly releasing new content related to HireView, which you don't want to miss. And if you want to practice these questions in an environment that is just like HireViews, go to tryvoomer.com. Not only do you get to practice the questions, but you also get AI powered feedback on your responses so you can land that dream job. I'll leave a link for a free trial in the description below. Question three. Tell me about a time you had to deliver disappointing news. HireView isn't really that interested in how gently you let somebody down. What they're really interested is in analyzing how proactive you are. Just think about it. If you tell somebody some bad news, their response is gonna be, well, how do we fix it? This question tries to understand if you're proactive, if you think ahead. After you give the bad news, if you already have a solution without anybody even asking for one. Let's hear an example response. My team had to deliver a massive hour long YouTube video, but I had to tell my boss that we were not gonna be able to make it. But I suggested that we divide that video up into smaller pieces and release a snippet of the video every day in a playlist. The idea worked and we got far more likes than we thought we would get with a full length video. So I deliver the bad news, but I'm one step ahead and I already have a solution to the problem. Question four, tell me about a time you had to deal with conflict in a team. This is another classic high review question. And if the job you're applying to involves lots of teamwork, make sure you prep for this one. Once again, let's look beyond the face value of the question and see what's behind. Here, Harvey wants to understand what your people skills are. 
how well you're able to identify problems, empathize with people, and enable teamwork. Follow the CAR structure we talked about, and this should be easy. Let's listen to an example. I had a new coworker, but my manager was giving him a really tough time because he was just not delivering results. But I realized that this new coworker did not have an, a good onboarding, so they were kind of just lost and they didn't know how to do their job. So I proposed a new onboarding program, and I went through that onboarding program with my coworker, and today that coworker works really well and my manager is happy. So again, you have to understand the question and really answer what's behind it your ability to deal with conflict and bring that conflict to resolution. I've heard many responses to that question that are simply, oh, I just fired the person. That's not what they're looking for here. Try and show your people skills, all right? Question five, tell me about a time you had to explain something complex. Here, higher view isn't hiding much. They really just wanna understand what your communication skills are. What's your ability to transform a complex idea into a simple, powerful message? Let's hear an example response. I had a new coworker who had never worked with videography before and didn't really understand any of the concepts involved. So I simplified everything and drew a triangle where I explained the three basic components of ISO, aperture, and shutter speed. With those three basic concepts, she was able to grasp the larger, more complex issues that we were gonna work with in the following days. So I take a complex issue, abstract the stuff that doesn't matter at the moment, use graphical elements, and I'm able to communicate a complex idea. Question six, tell us something that is not on your CV. You should be really grateful if this question pops up on your higher view, because this gives you the opportunity to talk about things that just didn't quite fit in the other questions. Make sure you answer this with something that helps you stand out from the crowd. And you can either source an example from your personal life or from your professional career. Let's hear an example. I volunteered at a food bank, but donations were declining rapidly. So I set up an email advertising campaign that increased donations by 300% year on year. So I use this wide open question to bring in this example, which I haven't been able to use so far. And it's an interesting one. So it helps to set me apart from the crowd. Question seven, why do you want this job? This question might sound a bit silly to some people. Others think it's very cynical. But take a step back and think about something about this job that you're applying to interests you. It might be about spending time outdoors. It might be about interacting with people. It doesn't have to be about the job itself, just about the things around it. Obviously, if you really love the job or the industry that you're in, talk about that. So let's hear an example. I want this job because I enjoy the thrill of the chase that comes with sales. Getting people that won't even give you the time of day to turn around and really depend on you and want you to come in and help them, that just makes my day. So those were our seven common higher view interview questions. But wait, remember I told you there was a bonus? Even if you have great examples in your head for each of those questions, answering them on the actual higher view can be really nerve wracking. So you wanna get as much practice as you can in an environment that is as close as possible to higher view. You go to tryvoomer.com where you can practice all these questions and more, and you can get AI powered feedback on your responses. So click on the link below and start your free trial right now. If you want me to answer a question that was not covered in this video, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to help you out. Also, click on the cards at the end of the video to learn more higher view tips. And good luck with your interview.